I welcome you all to the workshop on acne scars. Uh, first, I'd like to introduce our uh, star faculty, Doris, uh, Dr. Doris Hexel. She's uh, world renowned on not only acne scars, but a lot of other aesthetic procedures. Dr. Atula Gupta, she's a dermatologist from Gurgaon. Uh, Dr. Rashmi Sharma, she was here just now. She's also uh, regular in our workshops. She's a dermatologist from Delhi. And uh, I'm Dr. Neeti Kungar. I'm the professor in Bardhaman Mahavir Medical College in Sardarjung Hospital. This workshop uh, will provide all the skill sets for managing acne scars from basic to advanced techniques. So treat acne according to the severity and you must emphasize to your patients that it can recur and maintenance treatment of acne is very, very important. And if there is steroid induced acne, you combine with comedone extraction along with the peels. If there is a lot of erythema, uh, you can use an IPL. But I will say no steroid during the withdrawal period. It's best to hold hands rather than say we will reduce it slowly. So this was one patient who did get uh, a flare uh, following isotretinoin. The cystic lesions increase. He had a lot of comedone. So we, this is what I tell you about phenolization. You drain the cyst. And then you phenol, uh, phenolize. So you take 88% phenol, dip a cotton swab in that and just uh, enter into it after draining the cyst, it destroys the wall. In For acne scars, it's not three dimensional. You have to think in four dimensions. The shape, the size, the depth and the fourth dimension is the texture of the skin. Or there is another variety which is not very often mentioned that is the linear scars. So these are the small ice pick scars you see this small ice pick scars these are the box scar scars and uh, these are the linear scars and this is a bridging scar here and here this is typical of a hyperpigmented scar and here you can see she's got a little uh, depigmented uh, almost hypopigmented to depigmented lesions uh, in 2002 i wrote a chapter in a book called women dermatology from infancy to maturity and this was the first um, uh, algorithm of treatment of uh, scars, not specific acne scars, but the scars in general, that I wrote in my life. This was the first collection of techniques that I, I put, could uh, put together in, in that chapter. This is a very important question. There is a period of stabilization of scars which is uh, 6 to 12 months. The majority of the, the treatment we can, we can, we should wait a little bit, especially patients like this patient that had isotretinoin treatment, um, and this is the patient five months after the isotretinoin treatment. It's used fillers to, uh, such as the hyaluronic acid, and it is very curious that when we inject superficial the hyaluronic acid, we can do very superficial, and they will last more than usual. When we, we treat acne scars with, the, with the HA fillers, but you can use any other HA. They are very similar in terms of results. And then I go to the, to the, the, the scars. Let me see. So after I do the local anesthesia, so I use this uh, 21G needle, common needle, the green one, just to cut the septa that uh, pull the skin, uh, the skin down. So you can do this kind of movement or you can do like cutting a pie or in. So most of you would be already doing microneedling, right? So some ways of microneedling, there may be somebody would be doing dumber roller, somebody would be doing dumber pen, but most of you are, pre I mean, I must be doing this dumb, different ways of microneedling. So various type of, these are the various type of FDA approved dumber roller which are present. The difference is the change in the diameter of the needle. 
so and the length of the needle so it will the c8 is a home based dermar roller which has 0.5 mm c8 he is 0.1 and it increases up to 1.5 this is a technology that i use a lot sometimes even alone for acne scars and this is micro needle radio frequency which is also known as fractional micro needle ne needling there is a mechanical disruption of scar that is happening so here you're using two modalities one you are fibrotically disrupting the scar second you're giving some form of energy you not doing laser but you giving radio frequency directly into the scar to help the remodeling process la dermis so let's begin with my very small needle bed so vertical working quick okay horizontal diagonal 1 diagonal 2 i feel a little bit of resistance I like this because it now means that I can work a little bit more superficial. So I've gone from 1.75, and now I'm at 1.5. My patient's tolerating, but I notice that my patient's holding the bed. So at this point, I feel terrible that you feel a little bit of pain. So I'm going to reduce the device down to the smallest needle depth that it possibly goes to, and you're going to feel that everything is a lot more comfortable. So I've turned it all the way down. Does that feel easier? So the see uh, when I'm stretching it, I don't know. It's, see this one. When you stretch it, also it doesn't disappear. The walls remain sharp. So that's a box scar. No, it's not. No, it's there. Yeah. So I am feeling a give. The only thing what one has to be uh, careful about, what I realize, is you should uh, remove your foot from the pedal when you're withdrawing. <laughs> yeah, but I think it will be safer. Yeah. Maybe safer. too safer. Yeah. Safer. Yeah. Doing it the first time is always best to keep the energy at a lower uh, fluence, so that because every patient has again a different reaction. So I think since we're getting late for lunch, we'll stop here, and. Uh, if there are any things you can ask us uh, or even email to us